What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert Online. It's time to talk to Nelipal. So let's hop into this episode. To Welcome to my shop. You can count on the reliability of the goods you see here. They're different from the goods you'll get from the Crow Merchant Guild. I, I can tell from your appearance simple. that this is your first time in Alta Nova. Be careful not to lose your silver to pickpockets. I'm not playing with you. Let's see. Here. Shop. Why don't you go ahead and pick one? What do you have? Your shit is exactly the same. Like, what are you talking about? Are you... Are you drunk? Like, your stuff is exactly the same. We'll buy 75 more of those. And 75 more. 70... Okay. 75. I get 75. There we go. Okay. Let's get started on that quest. In Ultanova, you must learn to protect yourself from those who try to swindle you. Merchants who live by a code of honor and good conduct are few and far between uh, in a place like this. Personally, I would have no problem convincing you to buy something completely useless. Consider yourself lucky. I'm only showing you my nice side because Naruta Shen sent you here. A witch possessed by the, black, the dark energy... I know many merchants who'd be quick to separate fools from their silver, but nothing about a witch. Anyways, as you can see, I sell potions. I hope to see you again soon. Talk to Tullum, a villager in Alta Nova. I hear that Elixir's made you welcome. All right, Tullum. All righty. The weapons I make are the best in Medea, so if you could tell your friends about that, that'd be great. Hmm. You're not here to have a look at the weapons I made, ha. Ah, so you're the one who saved the furnace. Any adventurer worth their salt should use a weapon forged by a master, master blacksmith such as me. I am the great Tulum, Medea's very own blacksmith extraordinaire. You can always come visit if you ever find a need for decent weapons. A witch possessed by the dark energy... I don't think such a grim creature would choose to shop in a place like this. Pathetic adventurers with no skill, on the other hand... Seen plenty of those. <laughs> I only offer weapons to those I find worthy. Uh, if you really want to find someone, you're better off speaking to, De to Devi or Devi. He's a Medea storage keeper, so he's plenty of people passing through. The All right, what do you have for sale? Me quite uncomfortable. Or Nella staff. Well, that's actually pretty good for my other character when I get there. Okay. Let's see. Go talk to the storage keeper. I actually need to do some stuff with the storage keeper anyway, so I might as well do it here. <clears throat> Devi, help me know if you need to store any items. You can always count on me. I'm Devi, uh, the keeper of the storage and all of your worries. A witch possessed by a dark energy? First time I've heard of such a thing. Ah, I see. You're looking for someone. I thought you were looking to store something. I don't remember seeing anyone in particularly suspicious. The storage keepers have a keen memory. They have to remember all of their customers and the goods they've stored. How else would they be able to keep track of things? Oh, are you leaving already? You're welcome to come back any time if you need to store something. Remember, the name is the name. It's Devi, the keeper of the storage and all your worries. So now we need to go talk to Lucy Benkham. Let's do the currency exchange. Sell those and sell those. Just to clean up the inventory a little bit here. And we will continue our quest. This is an odd quest of introducing you to everybody in this new area. Because that's essentially what it's doing now. It's introducing us to the marketplace director. I've been waiting for you. Naruta Shen entrusted me with a gift I'm supposed to give you. What gift? Naruta Shen told me you're looking for something. Some information that might shed some light on the witch. I'm not sure how much help I can, or how much I can help, but you reminded me of a song the children sing in the village. That gives me the willies. It sounds like a nursery rhyme, but in a strange language. I don't know where the song comes from, only that it has an ominous undertone. I tell you, it sends chills down my spine. Normally, I wouldn't share this information with strangers, but for you, I'll make an exemption. Consider it payment for saving the furnace managed by the Shen Merchant Guild. Trade should be made okay. with careful consideration. Might want to speak with... Ooh, we, got a, we get a ring out of that? Ooh, we got a ring. What is it? Asala's Crimson Eye Ring. Okay, okay, it does 7 attack and 2 defense. I want it in this slot. No, not that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're up to 102 ADP, or AP. I can sell the Outlaw's Ring. 
Okay, so let's talk to her again real quick. No one Central Market. For your mistake. I'm assuming none of these have been posted yet. I'm still waiting to buy any and all of those that I can get. Um, that's still the goal. Let's move all those into storage. Move that. Okay, hold on. Why does it do this? Oh my, oh my gosh. Why does it have to be like this? John Merchantfield never makes it like mistakes. does this sometimes where it doesn't want to put what you want to store into the marketplace. The durability on this should be perfectly fine. I barely, oh, it's at 98 out of 100 durability. All right, we'll hold on to it for now. I'll mess with it later. All right, so we need to find a child who knows about the suspicious song. Oh, good. We can listen to kids sing a creepy song. It's up there on top 10 things that I don't want to listen to. I hope it's a cutscene so we can get real weird about it. All right. Where is the kiddos? Got an astrologist. Uh, here, here are the kids. Hello, little buddy. Azure Benkum. A song. Oh yeah, that one. I don't know what the lyrics mean, but I overheard some barbarian singing it uh, somewhere up over there. Over there. Listen, they're still singing. You should know that barbarians hate being around others. So if you want to eavesdrop on their singing, you'll have to get up close and pretend to be doing something else. I can handle that. Not exactly what it wants me to do. There we go. Can't eavesdrop. Hmm. What does it want me to do? Can I just interact with them? Eh. I thought I would just have to... Unless it wants me to lean... Ah, there we go. You find a group of barbarians feasting and singing a song together. I can't read any of that, but yeah, these uh, these dudes are singing a song together, and there we go. Because <laughs> obviously I do not sing that song. Do not speak that language. Um, oh, okay, we gotta go back. Can I, can I get unstuck from that? Alright, kid. What are they saying? Okay, more lyrics that I don't want to try to read. <laughs> Listen long enough and the lyrics get stuck in your head. All of us children in the village have memorized the lyrics by heart. What? You're asking me what it means? How should I know? All I know is that the song is the language of the barbarians. Hmm, I heard that Abdul Jam uh, understands the language of the barbarians. You're leaving already? If you find out what the lyrics mean, please do tell the next time we meet. Promise me you, you will tell. Maybe. Where is Abdul Jam? It looks like he's not in the city. Oh, yeah, he is. He's just at the far south side. <clears throat> have I gotten any contribution points yet? Oh, we have one contribution point, baby. We got one. Need to get more. Obviously, you can get 140 because I have a challenge for 140. Do we have any stuff to claim? Yeah, we have some rewards. Claim that. Character accumulated 50 hours. For one hour, skills increase. I'm going to go with this. And what is this? Die box bundle? Okay. Go ahead and claim that. Don't believe. We don't have an attendance reward yet. No. So I think we're we're good. All right. Ab Abdul Jam. If you want it done right, you do it yourself. Relying on others brings nothing but disappointment. Here to sharpen your skills, you've come to the right... Huh? You want me to translate something written in the language of the barbarians? Pretty bold of you to ask for something like that, considering we just met. Hmm. I would have sent you on your way if you were any other half-arsed adventurer asking me for a favor. 
but you, your name's already traveled far. I heard about your her heroics at the natural furnace. Right then, listen carefully. The goddess of darkness will return. The goddess of darkness will return. When the sun turns black, the subdued will rise. The master will become the slave. The slave will become the master. The old will die. Death will usher in the new. Your despair is hope for me. My hope is your despair. Satisfied? I don't realize it at first because I was busy interpreting. But after taking a second look, I can tell the lyrics were, pay were based on a prophecy from Sirer. Or Sirer? Hmm. You've never heard of Sirer? She's hailed as a prophet of God among the barbarians. If you want to learn more about the meaning of the lyrics, you should talk to Sirer yourself. The basics are okay, find the prophet Sirer. It's like we already are locked on. She's really just right, or he or she is just literally right in the city. Okay. Inter interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see. So grab those XP scrolls. Those go to the pearl inventory. Yes, they do. I have all sorts of these combat and extra life XP skills, and I just haven't been using them. Probably just hold on to them still for now. What is... I guess there's no di I was trying to figure out if there was a difference here, what the second thing was, but... I... Oh, did that take... Hold on. Did I take my eye patch off? Oh, I took my eye patch off! Oh, let's go. I got. I figured it out. I'm, I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. So I can do all that. But then, okay, I finally figured it out. That's how you toggle. I, I get it now. That is sweet. I'm happy I figured that out. Can't even see some of that stuff. Okay, we figured it out. That makes me really happy. Um, hello? Is whoever I'm supposed to be talking to supposed to be here? Because I do not see them. Oh, they're up above. Okay, nice. Can I actually climb this ladder? No. How on earth? Well, I know how I'm going to get up there. I don't really know if this is the proper way to get up here, but... This is how I'm getting up. All right. Cyrare. My name is Cyrare. I have waited here for you for a long time. Ah, uh, I was expecting you to come, oh stranger from a distant land, destined to stand alone in the eye of darkness. Was it yet to be, will be, or what has passed was destined to have been? Per the will of God, I sense that you seek answers from me. Their repressed wills shall be Um, okay. So we just need to keep talking to her? Okay, there we go. Prophets are cursed. They are fated to see that which they may not wish to see. The dark shadow is returning with the Witch of Darkness. When the sun turns black, the ruled will reach out with their hands. If death befalls all like the night, how do we know who is king? If day turns to night, adult from child will be unknown. Perhaps a time for hope, uh, perhaps a time for despair. I am but an instrument. I cannot tell you any more than this. You will soon understand you cannot escape your fate. Oh, okay. There's no need to be confused. Follow the light. No matter what, do not give in to the darkness that dwells inside of you. Alright, so here we go. Rise of the Barbarians. Pfft. That child has no idea what she's saying. What about the Barbarians? This is beyond ridiculous. Ignore her. These prophets like to speak in riddles to cover the fact they don't actually know anything. Think about it. The true meaning of the prophecy is implies a rebellion the barbarians must be planning to rebel but i wonder who the leader of their group is maybe that naruta shen knows more than he is leading on or letting on P or perhaps the song is referring to elezra uh he 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 or the song might have or might even have been spread by Cyrera herself nothing but questions without answers he 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 at least it's something exciting to get to be a part of always always the optimist now we need to go talk to Naruta Shen. See if he knows anything. I'm a, I have a feeling this is going to be one awesome climax, like fighting this dark, this witch 
or it'll be the biggest letdown ever if the witch ends up not being a boss. I really want the witch to be a final boss type enemy. That would be sick. I'm like 50-50 on if I'm going to be sorely disappointed when the witch is not a final epic boss. And being, or at like 33-33. It could be a boss and it could be not very exciting. Uh, Alright, Naruto Shen. Cyrare's Prophecy. Shen. Ah, it's Later about those barbarians again. When you know about the Barid's royal family, the family has been ruling over the kingdom of Medea for generations. Currently, Prince Barides, who will eventually secede the throne as Barides III, has yet to come of age. And because of this, I was entrusted to lead the kingdom in his stead. Cyrus' prophecy is a thinly veiled protest against me. A simple steward of the kingdom from those dissatisfied with the way um, things have been going ever since the decline of the Barides' royal family. It seems clear this prophecy was created to incite a barbarian rebellion. Nowhere else is this clearer to witness than at the abandoned iron mine one of our most important sources of income. The barbarians used force to take over the mine and claim the territory as their own. Since then, many villagers in the surrounding area have been rounded up and forced to work there against their will. I don't know for sure who the dark goddess in the song is referring to, but my insects tell me it's Cyrare. You don't believe me? Why don't you pay a visit to Aboon near the abandoned iron mine and see for yourself? Alright. Let's head on out. Go find out what is happening. So this episode, I want to apologize in advance. This episode will be a little shorter. I mentioned it in the witch episode. I'm getting up very early tomorrow um, to go to a convention. And so consequently, it means I can't stay up to like 4 a.m. recording videos like I had this last week. So... I need to go to bed a little bit earlier, so I'm going to cut the episodes just a, just a hair shorter. Maybe in like the 22 to 24 minute mark instead of like the 28 minute mark. Um, just bear with me for one day here. Uh, in the next couple days, we'll get back to a normal schedule. Uh, actually, it should be tomorrow. We'll be back to a normal schedule. Uh, that is That is the hope. Um, but obviously don't necessarily quote me on that. It could be Monday before we're back to perfectly um, perfectly done timing and videos and whatnot. How far away are we going? Pretty far. Got all sorts of... We're, we're uncovering a lot of the map, but I'm surprised that we left like this giant area empty and this giant area empty. Kind of like skipping around the map. That's all right, though. Does the bridge show up on the map? That does. Boy, we've entered the combat zone. I haven't had anybody, like, absolutely destroy me in PvP recently. I'm waiting for that to return when we go to these areas. I'm waiting for someone to pop out and just murder my soul. Maybe I'll be surprised, but I highly doubt it. I know I should be riding my mount, but it annoys me that I can't just auto summon my mount. So this is this is where we are. I forget, and then we <laughs> end up just running around everywhere. All right, Noah Ack. Oh no, wait. We need to talk to Aboon. We'll talk to Ack. I'm here. Everybody's leaving. Where is Aboon? Or a bun? A bun? A boon? Okay, Kaiser Bomb, or Kaiser Bomb. Um, nowhere is as interesting as Alta Nova. Look away for, for as a second, and a new street or building has popped up at your feet or in your face. That's not who I need to talk to. Who do I need to talk to? I need to talk to a boon, but none of the neither of those dudes are a boon. Oh, game. Hello. Where is a boon? Villager, villager. That's Akum. All right. Let's 
see, it wants me to talk to Akum. It's like taking me to Akum, but Akum's not who I want to talk. I guess we'll talk. Guess we'll talk to Akum. It's not who it wants me to talk to. You can't actually be planning on settling down in this decrepit town. Hmm. You say Naruto sent you here? Okay. You're you're not a boon. Um. Are you the savior that will save our village from further ruin? Um, maybe? Prophecy. Which? I don't know about any of these things. All I know is the villagers are suffering under these filthy barbarians. We were once the masters of the abandoned iron mine, and the barbarians were the ones who worked it. Life was good, but everything has changed since the, since the three days of darkness. The barbarians overthrew the workers in the village and took over the abandoned iron mine. Many of the villagers in Aboon uh, were ta- Oh, the town is called Aboon. Okay. We're taken and forced to work, but Dio left us to our fate. Our village, our beloved village, wasn't always in the state you see today. Okay, so now we need to talk to Zinor Denin, the blacksmith of Aboon. Hello, good sir. Leave your equipment to me. All repairs are fairly priced. Of course, the better your gear, the steeper the cost. Hardly a scam, mind you. Higher quality gear demands great, greater skill and care. An adventure? What are you doing in a place like this? Don't you have better things to do? Alas, a boon may be gone forever. You might want to take a moment to remember that this will have been where a boon once stole. So once stood. Duh. Even the villagers who swore to defend and rebuild the village have all fled. Considering the circumstances, I'll soon be left with no choice but to leave as well. What can I do if I won't have any more customers? Uh, there are barely any villagers left now. If you want to learn more about their struggles... Uh, you'll have to speak to them yourselves. I'm so tired of hearing and talking about it. Okay, so we need to gain knowledge about the abandoned iron mine from Dino Laha. Dino Dino Laha, a villager from Aboon. All right. I admire that you have gone through such an amazing adventure. If must be all's blessing for you to have come here from so far. I hope all's blessing reaches a boon, too. Let's talk about the iron mines, buddy. It seems you don't know much about the abandoned iron mine. Keep your foolhardy pace and you'll find yourself overwhelmed. It's a different world over there. That area is full of barbarians. They captured everyone here, including the villagers, and brought them there. We hear things about them through the mercenaries passing by. Okay, so now we need to talk to villagers and gain knowledge. Pretty much just gonna... Talk to villagers and try to skip through a little bit of dialogue. Like these villagers. I'm just going to skip through this. We're just learning. Yeah, we just had to talk to one villager. Okay, so let's go back. Who do we got up here? Nephi Tinya. Nephi Tinya. My family was taken to the abandoned iron mine, but there's nothing I can do. You want to know more about this village? If I had my way, I'd be long gone by now. Enslaved by the barbarians. My brother was dragged to the abandoned iron mine. How can I leave without him? Uh, those atrocious barbarians left our family broken and torn apart. If I knew I could stand a chance against them, I would have tried taking them out myself, even if it cost me my life. Are you actually hunting down the barbarians yourself? You'll find them in the abandoned iron mine. But that's suicide. Can you really do it? If you're insisting on going... Uh, I can't stop you. Are you looking for someone, something there? Ah, the Song of the Barbarians. I've heard of it before. If you're going to the abandoned m iron mine, can you look for Horio? I am certain that he's still alive. He might even be able to help you. All right. So, heavy dialogue, heavy story episode. We're getting information on the witch, the, witch, the barbarians, uh, and etc. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow where we will be heading to the abandoned iron mine to actually fight some stuff. So I'll catch you all then. Peace.